Okay, I know what you're thinking. This is probably the most attractive thing you've ever seen. I know. Uh, I'm gonna wash my face. Boom. Say hi, Drogi. Say hi, big boy. Coconut oil. Best makeup remover ever. This stuff is really soft. Don't mind the messy counter. I'm in the middle of reorganizing. I take this and put it on these little cotton round pads. And just put it on my eye. Ew. Do you mind, sir? Anyway. Look at that. See? Now I'll do the other one. My dog keeps bothering me. Say hi, Drogi. Drogo. Look. Say hi. Hey. Good boy. If you guys want to know where I got these head wraps, I got, I think they come in a package of five and they come with these really awesome, uh, like little face spatulas. To scoop out masks and put it on your face. Make sure you're really gentle with these, especially around the eye area under here because the skin is a lot thinner and so it's more sensitive. So be careful with that. And again, don't mind all this clutter. I've been getting a lot of new product lately to try things out on my face. Um, I got a lot of stuff to organize it. I got this really cute makeup brush holder. It's really thick acrylic and it's got, it came with these little beads in here to help the brushes stand up and then it's got three cute little drawers. So that's fun. And then I got some other acrylic bins to put this other stuff in, a little shelf and some under cabinet shelving. So maybe I will do a video about that. I don't know, what do you guys say? Would you want to see me organize? This shirt is so old. Probably a solid, ooh, I don't know. 14 years my mom got it for free it's a nice night shirt wash my face shirt okay so some of the face washes i use um i just got this one my face gets really dry especially in the winter time and where i live the winters get pretty cold it gets snow i got this 100 percent virgin don't mind my nail <laughs> i got this uh 100% virgin coconut oil daily hydrating face milk cleanser. Um, this is really nice. It smells nice. And then I mix it with this natural acne solutions. Um, purifying cleanser is it has salicylic acid in it. This helps with my acne, but I use the other one because it's hydrating and I need something to moisturize my face as well. Now, I've seen reviews where and videos of people saying they to not use baby wipes on your face because it dries your face out. Um, I agree with that. However, I'm getting, so I use a baby wipe to get the bulk of my makeup off and then I cleanse my face because if I just go in and clean my face, it's going to leave a lot of residue and a lot of uh, makeup left over and like basically swishing it around on my face. So I understand why people say to not use baby wipes, um, just baby wipes to remove your makeup because it does dry your face out, but I'm using 
a lot of moisturizers and a moisturizing face wash so it'll counteract that. So I just wipe it off. Oops, if I take my nose ring out. seen as well on camera. I've been using a full coverage makeup lately. I'll probably do a tutorial on how I do my makeup. I've been experimenting with a lot of different things lately. Just trying to find the right thing for me. I do hate wearing, feeling like I have to wear full coverage when I go out. It sucks. So the sooner I can get rid of this acne, the better. I'm struggling with it for a long time and I'm just, I'm over it. Okay. So now that I've got the bulk of my makeup off, this is kind of a weird angle, I'm sorry. Very home video-y because, well, I'm at home and I'm making a video. And there. I always try to keep a towel by me because I don't know if it's just me or if it's how low or how close my faucet is to my sink. But I always seem to make a puddle around my sink. You guys are going to see the blemishes that I'm trying so desperately to get rid of. I'm getting married on June 1st and I don't want this kind of skin for my wedding. Make sure my water is warm. Splash that on my face. Boom. Mixed. Mixed. And I try to use the product on my fingertips and not rub it into my palms so I'm not wasting the product because these can get a little pricey. Not all cleansers need to lather. Sometimes I like to let that sit for a minute. Maybe less than a minute. Make sure you pat dry, don't wipe. It can spread any germs. I know you just wash your face, but it can spread things and it's it's always better to pat. It's more it's gentler on your skin. And this is what I mean by flooding the sink and making a mess. Look at all this. Look at this. It's like I went swimming. Okay, now I use, after this, my face, it, I pat my face dry, feels nice and fresh, feels thirsty, if anything. Um, you can see after I wash my face, there's some more mascara that came off. I'll go back with another coconut pad or sometimes a baby wipe, but usually coconut pad. But before I do that, I'm gonna get another one of these. Drogo! I don't like it when he's quiet because I don't know what he's doing. So I've been using this toner. It's also Burt, Burt's Bees. It's an acne solution. It's natural. Um, I don't know if that's focusing for you guys. I'm sorry. This also has salicylic acid in it. I like this stuff. I haven't experimented with too many toners. Um, a few. I like that one. I have this other one. It's a bamboo charcoal detoxifying toner. This one's good because I like the spray and you mist it all over your, your face. But it feels very sticky. 
for a while after, for a couple hours, so I don't use that one too often. I don't know, what do you guys think? Have you heard about this? Do you guys use charcoal products? Do they work for you? I've tried the charcoal toothpaste. I feel like it didn't really work for me. I don't know. I am my own worst critic though, so you know. Okay, then I used this, well this is drying the toner. This really like sucks up moisture off your face, but. Um, so after that I used this Shea Moisture. I just got this, so I'm just testing this out. I've been using it for like a week and a half. It's 100% virgin coconut oil, daily hydration, overnight face oil with coconut milk and Acacia Senegal. And I know a lot of you out there, especially if you have acne, you're like, oh my gosh, oil, no, don't use that. Um, you need moisture when you have acne. You need, because then your face is overproducing sebum, clogs your pores, yada, yada, yada. I'm sure you guys have heard the spiel a million times. And I like to mix that with this. It's just a night cream um, for sensitive skin with cotton extract. It's 98.9% .9 natural. Burt's Bees, again. I literally went into the Burt's Bees section and was like, or the natural section and found a bunch of Burt's Bees stuff. I was like, I need something. Gosh, I hope it's focusing. Um, so I just mix those together. So this is awesome because it's a little dropper and I love those. Kind of makes me feel like I'm doing an experiment. I'm gonna scoop this out with the back of my nails because when you have long nails on, except for this one that came off. And this is a little, it's a little different. I just mix this together and again, use your fingertips because you wanna use as little product as possible. Um, well, you want to waste as little as possible, and if it's going all over your hands, that's not really what it's intended for. And this is a really good, uh, these are both really good night creams. Um, well, one's a cream and one's the little, it's a serum. And make sure you're always using your night ones at night and your day ones during the day, and that your day ones have an SPF in it. Uh, there are reasons for that, for making night ones for night and day ones during the day. And then I just got this as well. This is a soothing facial mist, 99% naturally derived ingredients made with rose water without parabens, dyes, and silicones. And this is nice to just spritz all over your face. As so. refreshing and that's about it um and then I take this ridiculous thing off okay so that's about it um let me know what else you guys would like to see uh, I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope you guys all sleep well have a great night sweet dreams count all your sheep good night rewind I couldn't see it on the camera but I totally forgot to take the rest of my makeup off around my eyes that came off when I was washing my face so I just take another cotton round with some coconut oil again I'm sure you guys get the idea wipe it off wipe it on and then make sure you get underneath your eyes Again, be very gentle under here. I have some dark circles under my eyes. I'm taking some vitamins to try to get rid of those, and it's a liver detox as well. So we'll see if those work. I've been taking those for about a week now. I hope so. So I'm tired of putting concealer under my eyes. Let me know if you guys have any other tips and tricks to get rid of dark circles. I've heard of putting green tea bags on your eyes. I heard the, I guess the caffeine or whatever stimulates the blood flow 
don't rub your eyes really hard. Um, do as I say, not as I do type of thing though, because I rub my eyes because sometimes it just feels good. Did I get it all? I can't tell. I think so. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, good night. Oh, I put it in my eye. My makeup up. Ugh. My makeup up.